Hi there, everybody. This is J. Richard Barvell for the JRV Morning Show. Good morning and welcome to the show. So I came back out finally to that area that I, uh, the first and only time that I forgot my phone uh, so far <laughs> when I left in the morning uh, was this place here. And uh, it said, I believe, River, not River Lakes, um, Canyon Hills Church, which is right off the 178 and Morning Drive. Uh, kind of between Morning Drive and Fairfax. Uh, anyways, I'm not here because I, uh, I'm a church goer here or that I have any affiliation to this particular church. Uh, I'm only here because of the back parking lot. It's all dirt and then it overlooks this beautiful uh, valley which is um, really the Kern River Valley going, uh, getting even closer into the canyon when uh, you really get into where the Kern River comes through and where it's like real narrow. Uh, but anyways, this is a great view. Uh, unfortunately, the mountains have already turned brown. They were green, uh, or more green at least, when I came up here a couple weeks ago. Uh, but they're already in their natural turning. Uh, and so now we're going to be going into the brown mountains, but it was so wonderful having the green while they were here. And I know if you go up to places like uh, Lake Isabella, uh, go through the grapevine or up through Tehachapi, those hills are still green. So you haven't missed your chance if you haven't been able to take in the green hills yourself. They are still available. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead and get started with a card reading of the day. That feels appropriate. And then we'll see what happens from there. Let's turn the camera a little bit, get a little a different angle here. So card reading of the day. So the way we do this is we tune in, we use a card to pull, uh, and then uh, the card is a representative, a symbol of the energies that are affecting the collective the most, or at least uh, where the divine would like us to highlight <laughs> for today. So let's see what comes through. Highest and best good for everyone. Yes. Yes, yes. All right, let's cut the deck. And dream time. Dream time. I want to make sure <laughs> make sure I said that right. All right, we had dream time. I don't believe it was last week, but the week before. And dream time is really important. I know oftentimes we might see our dreams as just something, you know, something we do to keep our, ourselves occupied at night uh, while we're sleeping or um, doesn't really mean anything. It's just, you know, what my mind does. Uh, it's part of the process or, or not even thinking that far along that it's part of the process. Uh, but I would like to bring some more conscious awareness to our dreams. Our dream time is a space and a place for us to try on new energies, try on new experiences in the dream space where we don't have the same limitations that we have here in the physical with our personalities and our limited beliefs that we might carry around and our social programming. Uh, the dream space time allows us to have so much more flexibility, actually complete flexibility in those experiences so we can really try on these different energies and these different experiences in that space before we come and have it here on planet Earth as we know it in this space. So that's one aspect of dreams. The other part is our dream space. I see it as uh, whenever we have a dream, and this is not having, this isn't a prophetic dream, this is just more of a usual dream that people would have, but where your mom might show up or, you know, your friend Sally shows up, those are just representative of you. They're just a reflection of you uh, in the dream, and you're actually all parts of the dream. So all parts of the dream are talking to you if you choose to decode it uh, and remember it in your waking state. So it can be full of really valuable information and understanding for what is going on in your current reality. So uh, I would, if you're the type of person that just easily discounts your dreams, don't, you don't give it a second thought, uh, I would possibly, if you choose, uh, take another look and, uh, and dig in a little bit. There are lots of different apps. I'll post a picture of one of the ones I, uh, I use a lot where there's a lot of common dream symbols uh, that have, uh, let's see, how do I wanna say that? Well, there's a gentleman, <laughs> I believe he's a doctor. Uh, anyways, he, through his 
uh, time in his practice, he had a practice that was all around dreams, he wrote a book and now that book has been turned into an app and it goes through and deciphers a lot of the common dream themes, you know, if you're in a car or you're in a house or you're, you're whatever, whatever it is, there's like a gazillion different things. That there's a description and different archetypes and different understandings to help start your understanding if this is new to you to decode your dreams and then from there uh, I always say intuitively tune in like what do these symbols and meanings mean to you make it more personal make it more real for you uh, and that's how I like to go about it so anyhow dream time I feel in the collective is being activated more and more because of all this new information because of all the new possibilities because of all the chaotic energies going on we're all using our dream space as a way to process this information as well as to figure out our next best move in a space where we have a lot more flexibility and fluidity so that is the card reading of the day dream time if anybody has any questions, please don't hesitate to comment in or um, I almost said call in, but that's not going to work because I don't have a phone to answer today. <laughs> so comment in. Uh, so now, let's see. Well, I feel like it's close to the 11-11 meditation and even if we're a few minutes early, that's okay today. We're going to go ahead and do it now. It feels, it feels good. Um, and we're gonna go into a waking dream time, a waking dream space uh, in our meditation time today. So if you would like to join me now, please go ahead and close your eyes and begin to grow roots from the base of your spine and the bottoms of your feet down into the center of Mother Earth. This is consciously connecting you to the Earth's energy, grounding your energy, Let's take a deep breath here together. <sighs> really letting it out. Another one, filling up the tummy. <sighs> really just letting go, letting it out. Yes. All right. Now, I would like you to become aware of your gold and silver ball of light at the center of your heart space. This is representative of your own divine spark. And I would like you to grow that sphere of light bigger and bigger and bigger. And so far up to this point, uh, I've described this ball of light as a golden silver ball of light. And my team, as of this weekend, has informed me that they would like us to see it more as a sun. Uh, so just as the sun is shining bright in the sky, uh, up above me, behind me here, uh, again with your eyes closed, I would like you to imagine an inner sun that's burning bright with all the colors of the universe within you that is so powerful and so bright and has an endless source of energy. And again, I would like you to imagine that uh, <laughs> radiating out like a, like, a, like a literal star in every direction because it's like a star in your heart space and so much energy is pouring out of you at this time. So again, uh, my team, uh, would like us to see this as a sun, a big, brilliant, bright sun that is in our heart space. And I would like you now to grow that sun bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's growing past our physical body suit. And we're going to take it today out 13 feet. Again, that's 13 feet all around us. This big, bright sun that is shining. It was shining from within us and now it has come past our physical body suit. And we are now in the middle of this beautiful radiant light this is our light this is our personal light our personal signature our own personal reality that we are creating with this light as it radiates from the inside out yes we are the writers the directors the producers the actors uh, the background plus the star of our own movie we get to play all of the roles. We are the ones playing all the roles. And if we're not doing that for uh, ourselves, then that means someone's playing those roles for us. And then they might not have our best interests at heart. So very important to take that power back if we've let it go along the way. And this is one of the great exercises, blaring and blasting our light out and letting it radiate out like a star out in every direction. It's very empowering and it reminds us that the power 
that we are looking for, the power that we are, comes from within us, not from outside of us. That is an illusion. And we are directly connected to that power. We do not need any intercessors to access that power within. And I would very much caution you to not use an intercessor because you are powerful enough and you are an aspect of God. You do not need an entity to uh, intercess for you to be uh, a channel between you and God. As one of my met metaphysical teachers said, if your God isn't big enough and bad enough and working for you, then kick that God out and create a bigger, better God. So that might be confronting to some of you, uh, but that's okay. Let it be confronting. What do you want to do about it? Do you want to empower yourself or do you want to keep playing the victim? The choice is yours. All right, that feels complete for today. Thank you all for joining me on this meditation time. And I know this was uh, on the very surface, could appear very simple, uh, but this is a very powerful space for us to be in within our own light, radiating out in every direction. It's very powerful. Sending out that love of the universe out through us is very powerful. And I would like you to give yourself a big hug and a pat on the back. Yes. Great job, everybody. Thank you, Lada Line team, the entire company of uh, the universe, of the light, of the most high. All of the unified forces of the universe, of love. Yes, thank you. All right, I would like you now to begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and become aware of your physical body whenever you are ready. Oh, so that was wonderful, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining in on that meditation with me. And uh, those of you joining me in the archives, don't hesitate to do that on your own time. You're able to join in and access that very powerful energy for yourself at will. Uh, and so uh, don't ever feel like you must come on at 11 or, or it's just not going to be the same because that isn't true. Uh, you're able to do this on your own time whenever it is most convenient for you. And that's why I keep all these recordings in the archive for that reason. All right, so if anybody has any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to comment in, whether it's on Facebook, VidMe, or YouTube, uh, as well as I have an Instagram account where I post a picture of the card reading of the day, so that way you can st see a still shot. Uh, I'm over 60 uh, likes on my Facebook page, so thank you so much for that, everybody. And uh, I did, for the first time, boost one of uh, my uh, videos. It was the commercial that, for the two upcoming events, two upcoming events at the Enchanted Cottage. And uh, I got over, so far, over 1,500 views, so that was super cool. And, and uh, with that, there was, I believe, like six or seven new likes to my page. So that was super awesome and uh, well worth the $20 that I invested in that. So, uh, yes. So again, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in and joining me live. Uh, it is always a great pleasure to join you here in this way in the mornings. And we will be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Until then, I want to surround everybody with a big, huge, giant hug of love. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.